Good morning, everyone. This is Celso Batalha, and I'm teaching this Astro 10 uh, intercession that goes on in January. And I would like to open this uh, series of videos. They, they, they would try to be short, and I try to keep them um, within 15, 20 minutes. And in most of the videos, I will add a quick a quiz question that you can answer, and that is going to be for extra credit. And I apologize for the dogs. I mean, they made a, they make a lot of noise here. But anyway, so um, as a first video, what I would like to do is just to show how the course is organized. And I think I, I already did that in the orientation, and I'm not going to repeat all the steps. But um, in the first chapter, which is the one we are focusing now, um, there are main points in there, and they are related to what science is, what the scientific method basically is, and in general, <clears throat> what how the universe organizes itself, and how big or and how how big certain structures in the universe are. So when you compare a planet with a star, when you compare a star with a group of stars, when you compare the distances there are in between stars with the stars themselves, how, how, how large these distances are, and also galaxies and, and groups of galaxies and the universe in large scale. So chapter one gives you an overview of what's going to come up in the, in the following days um, and you should be able to uh, spend some time learning about uh, this basic motion that we observe in the night skies and and have some grip on on the scales in our solar system and chapter one you might face several questions that you have to do a simple math in order to come up with the proper answer um, and also, what's the what the star basically is, and what's the main function of the star in the universe, um, which is basically production of atoms. They make up most of the stuff that you see around yourself right now, including your own body. So all of that came from stars. Um, and also, what galaxies are? This complex structure that includes hundreds of billions of stars and all their um, planetary systems. So chapter one gives a chunk of everything, but it doesn't go deep in anything. It just let you know what's, what's pretty much going ahead. Now, <clears throat> as a first kind of a meeting, I would like to see what's, what is important for you. I really recommend you use the flashcards and, uh, and go through the various extra credit that I make available. Again, in this video, I'm not adding any extra credit, but in future videos, for instance, the one that is going to be available tomorrow or in tomorrow's uh, chapter book, and based on chapter two, I will have a quiz extra credit uh, video in there. So um, if you want an extra credit, you should probably attend and, and watch the video. But um, Here's something that I really would like you to, to know about. It. So if you if you Google Norton, which is the company manufacturing our book, which is Understanding Our Universe, you're going to get a bunch of things. And, and what I want you to open is, is this link, which gives you lots of basic information that will help you to better understand the chapters. For instance, um, you can you can go around and choose, for instance, chapter number one. Chapter no number one is there. Our place in the universe, and then and then you have a study outline for each chapter. Um, if you wanna buy the ebook, you can do that in here, right? So you have to sign in and then have your billing address and credit card so on and then you can have your ebook available but if not there are free things here you can make use of 
So let me show you. So the Astro Tour, um, I don't have for chapter one, but for chapter two, I have very nice videos that you can make use of it. In fact, I have these videos in in the lesson plan in a chapter, but you can you can pretty much access all of them here. Okay, so this is a video that explains what night sky is, and uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, it also have if you go to all the chapters, see chapters, and click on chapter one. So, besides astro tours and some simulations, some of them are available. Um, there are also flashcards, and link to the flashcards I put it in Moodle, so it's there. But you can also find it here, and they are handy. So after you read the chapter in the book, uh, you could test if you understand what's going on with these flashcards, and, 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 and they help a lot. You know, if you are somebody who can organize your time well, you can use that to better uh, crystallize your information. So what speed is and astrobiology, so on and so on and so on. So extra, um, there is no extra credit if you do that. But, you know, it's good to, to help you um, to be oriented throughout this course. Now, diagnostic quiz. So this is important. Uh, there are, in every single chapter, there are some questions on it. So you can choose to be tested on 10, 15, 20, or 25. So if you don't have a lot of time, just take 10. Begin quiz. And then it comes questions like this. Which of the following are in order from smallest to largest? So, you know, Milky Way, local group, and here is referring to local group of galaxies. The Virgo supercluster. So which one is 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 the smallest to the biggest so which one that that would be so um, in chapter one it gives you information of what that is and then you can choose one I'm kind of a random randomly choosing anything and I'm getting a wrong answer and then I go to another one and then I choose another one I didn't think much um, so anyways what is the importance of this I will take not for the midterms but for the final exam uh, the final exam uh, will consist on about 50 questions or less, but they will be taken from this quiz. So with that, I think I give you a very nice study guide for final exam. Final exam is 20 or 25 percent of your course grade, and I think that's that's the best I can I can give you. So do not ask me for a study guide. What study guide is? It's right there. So just do the, the diagnost diagnostic quiz of all, on all the chapters we covered, and I will take the questions from there. Obviously, most of the questions will come from the last three chapters uh, that deal with galaxies, uh, Milky Way galaxy, and the Big Bang Theory, because uh, I will not have tested my students own those chapters in previous midterms so there are midterm three midterms as you know so i'll take more questions from the last chapters and less questions from these chapters but altogether there will be 50 questions they are uh, all available on these quizzes so again if you choose for instance chapter nine which has to do with small bodies in the solar system i don't think we cover that but chapter 10, which is measuring the star, this is a key chapter. I had some quiz in there. And yes, so be sure some of the questions will come up from here. Okay? So this is so much for, um, for the first video. Uh, I, I will upload videos um, as, as I make them. And uh, they will try to be short as this one. And I will always have a little uh, quiz question for extra credit if you want to do it. And um, at noon, we have our chat room. Chat room, I don't lecture. I open the chat room and I see if students are there, if you guys have questions to ask. 
Uh, if somebody wants me to explain some subject that's not clear, I can do that in the chat room as well, and um, and that is taped, so um, so you you have access to it. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Um, so welcome. <laughs> okay. Bye.